Muhammad Mustafa sallallahu alaihi wasallam prophesied about the Masih Dajjal's coming before end of the world. And he has given many signs and he said that all the Nabis before me have given the prediction of coming of Dajjal and its killer also because in the same way you said Muhammad Mustafa sallallahu is the last prophet. I agree with this that Muhammad Mustafa is the Khatim and Nabin. So Jesus Christ will come so he will be sent by Allah to the sent one we call Rasul in Arabic language because it is derived from the word Arsala. Arsal. So, to the coming one and sent by Allah, we call Rasul. So, you said in many programs and other people also have said that Muhammad Mustafa Sallallahu is the last Rasul. So, I have objection on this because according to Islam, last Rasul is Isa Masih, salam, but he will not be the prophet. And what is the position of his in the Quran? Because without Quran, we cannot certify because either he must be a Rasul and it is sure that there will be no prophet after Muhammad Mustafa sallallahu alaihi wasallam because Allah selects the messenger that is Rasul from among Malaikat and among man that is Al-Hajj ayat number 75 so the Malaikal mouth is also called as Rasul and there is no Lohati and Lafzi meaning we will take because entire Quran is Lohat as well as Lafzi so either the word Rasul because Quran says the denier of the Rasul is Kafir. So it implies upon Jesus Christ of second coming who will be coming as Muhammadan. I am from Hyderabad. My name is Muhammad Maudud Ahmed Khan. I am fighting with Dajjal Mirza Ghulam Ahmed Khadiyan and his group. Please give me perfect answer and I request you to write a book completely upon the Dajjals and Masih Dajjal apart from 30 small Dajjals and the coming of the Jesus Christ according to Bible, Ved, all Puranas and all the books. Please do it. If you stop your speech, then I can answer. <laughs> the brother has given a short speech in which his main question was, his main argument was that the Dajjal is going to come and the Dajjal is going to kill by Masjid Dajjal. There is no difference in that. The only point that he objects to, and I have said in various of my talks that Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is the last Rasul, last Nabi, several places. He is saying that Jesus Christ is going to come again, and we agree with that. But since he is going to come again, he is the last Rasul according to the Quran and Hadith. He says according to Islam, Isa is the last Rasul. I asked the brothers to show me one verse anywhere in the Quran which says Isa is going to be the last Rasul. He will never find any. I challenge him. Point number one. Nowhere does the Quran say or the Hadith says that Isa is the last Rasul. I do agree that the Quran says in several places there are no less than 70 Sai Hadith mentioning Isa is going to come back again. So nowhere does the Quran ever say, he said that according to Islam, Isa is the last Rasul. It is totally wrong. Nowhere does the Quran say Isa is the last Rasul. The Quran says Isa is the Rasul, I agree. The Quran says Isa is the will come back again. The no less than 70 Sai Hadith, the Isa is the will come again. But just by adding A plus B and making it C, it is your misunderstanding, which I will clarify, inshallah. No two verses of the Quran can contradict. Quran says in Surah Nisa chapter 432, uh, that do they not consider the Quran with care? Had it been from anyone besides Allah, there would have been many contradictions. So Quran cannot contradict. Two verses of the Quran cannot contradict. Allah says in the Quran in Surah Ahzab chapter number 33 verse number 40, Ma kana Muhammadun aba ahadim mirjalukum wa laakhi rasulallah wa khatamun nabiin wa kana Allah bi kullishin alima. That Muhammad peace be upon him is not the father of any of you men. But he is the messenger of Allah, Rasulullah, and he is the Khatim al -Nabiyin. He is the seal of the prophets. Allah is most knowing, full of knowledge. Now if you analyze, people don't know the meaning of Rasul and Nabi and the mix-up. The brother said, what is the meaning of Rasul? He asked. Didn't reply. Come from the root word, Rasalah, message. Rasul in English means a messenger, the one who gives a message. But in context, it means one who gets the message from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Rasulullah. Rasul means a messenger. Even you and I can be a messenger, but no messenger of Allah. Fine. After Surah Azab has been revealed, chapter 33 verse 40, anyone who says that he is a messenger of Allah or Nabi of Allah, he requires a psychiatrist. 